Hey guys, this is the Prince of Macedon, and I'm playing the Rome Total Realism Seven mod, Fate of Empires, and this is the mod for Rome Total War. It's still in the beta stage, so it has not been released yet to the public. Anyways, um, I'm playing an online battle here. I command the Army of Eberus, and my opponent is Duke Canada in command of the SPQR Romans. We're gonna look at my army first. I've got uh, four squadrons of... Um, of Royal Cavalry, and that's where my general was, and you can even see my general skin. Right there are my, my Cretan uh, Toxitai, my Cretan archers, and um, then I have uh, three units of these um, Epirote Astheteroi, and um, next to them I have six squadrons, or six units of these Epirote Pezheteroi, and that's my, my army of Epirus. And now we're going to look at the army of Duke Canada. On his front ranks he has uh, three units of, of Greek archers, then he has three units of principes, and in the middle of his army he does have some other units, but we'll get that later. Right now my opponent launched a cavalry assault backed by a Hestati unit, so I'm going to counter charge with my cavalry. And I'm also bringing in a um, one unit of, of my Ast Heteroi. The, uh, the meaning of Ast Heteroi is um, open to debate right now, but um, I was reading from one of my books, and the author seemed to think that Ast Heteroi means uh, the, uh, the soldiers closest to the, uh, to the king. So um, they weren't quite on the level of the Hypaspis, but they were definitely above the, uh, the regular Pes Heteroi. Anyways, um, my cavalry defeated his, and my opponent's cavalry, the ones on this wing, it consisted of... what were they? They were uh, two squadrons of Equites Campani and two squadrons of Equites. Anyways, um, those are his uh, squadrons of cavalry routing right now. Anyways, uh, back to my um, to my army. I do have my Cretan archers, and they have a very funky name. It's um, Mist Rope. Well, I won't pronounce the first word, but the second word is Kretikoi Toxitai. That's uh, Cretan archers. So I'm just gonna call them Cretan archers for this video. And anyways, let's look at the rest of my opponent's army. There's some more, um, some more Roman units, Hastati, and then he has Triarii. The Triarii, these are the, uh, the old veterans of the uh, Roman army. They usually occupy the uh, third rank of the, uh, the Roman army. Anyways, uh, in the middle, my opponent has uh, three units of mercenary Sarissa troops. And right here is his, uh, general, his general unit. I'm going to show you his general. There he is, wearing that really sweet-looking skin there. It's very nice-looking. Look at that helmet and the crest. But um, his general, he commands the Equites Praetoriani. And I'm just going to leave my pronunciation at that. I don't want to butcher it anymore. Alright, so I'm using my my Royal Cavalry Squadrons to uh, wreak havoc on my opponent's back line here. I'm just going to roam behind his lines, and he is going to uh, counter my move by chasing with his uh, Hastati and his uh, general unit. But um, I laid a trap for his uh, general unit there. Once his general unit got separated from his infantry, I turned back and surrounded his uh, general unit there. So he's going to run away from my ambush. If you look closely at his at his units, his cavalry units, they are wearing the uh, Boeotian helmet. That is a, a Greek helmet. And that is the kind of helmet that is recommended by Xenophon for uh, cavalrymen to wear. And um, that's a very nice, very short book. But anyways, uh, back to the battle here. Here's some of my opponent's infantry. They were chasing my cavalry. And I got one of my cavalry squadrons right here separated from the rest of my cavalry. So I was trying to divide his uh, troops who were pursuing me. So they threw some of their peel at me, and now he's going to charge me. And I'm going to uh, scoot out of there. I'm going to uh, do that first, and then scoot out of there. Now I brought my, my phalanx forward here. So right smack in the middle of my opponent's army, he has uh, three uh, mercenary uh, Sarissa units. So I'm going to concentrate my attack here. I'm going to break them, and then I'm going to roll up the rest of his uh, troops, who are just Sestati, Principe, and Triarii. But um, right here is my main effort here, right in the center. And look in the back, you can see my Royal Cavalry coming back. And I'm going to hammer an anvil right down the middle here. And this is the only time you're going to see his units route that fast. Yeah, when you play these uh, realism mods, you're going to notice that your troops, they will fly it a lot longer than um, compared to the uh, vanilla version of this game. And um, I know a lot of people complain about units routing right away, and if you're complaining about that, then you should play one of these mods because mods like this, it'll fix that problem. All right, right now I'm gonna show you an overhead of the battle. Um, the banners that are blinking, those are his units routing, but the banners that are solid, 
those are units that he's in control of. But um, some of his guys are routing, but most of his guys are running back to uh, to chase my cavalry away. Because uh, he sees my strength being my cavalry. In a combined arms approach, it's the uh, cavalry and the heavy infantry and, and your light infantry that is that is the strength. Like, it's, it's everything. It's not just one like one component of the army, it's everything. That's what Alexander the Great revolutionized in warfare. He made it so that every component in his army was as equally important as the other components. Alright, so my opponent right here, he's using his um, his more flexible Roman units to outflank my, my Sarissas. But um, I had a second layer of, of pikemen, so it's going to be hard for him to outflank me. But um, unlike in the vanilla version, like the Triaria and the Prince Bays, they can actually stand up to Sarissas. I mean, it's it's still not a good idea to do it from the front, but they will last a lot longer. So, like, if you did want to outflank a Sarissa unit, it would actually uh, work a whole lot more effectively in this game. But look at look at this guy surrounding my my troops there. Those are my Pesheteroi. Those are my my regular Pike units. All right, you can see in the back my cavalry's coming in for a hammer and nibble strike. And another thing that this game changes, among other, th other things, is that the uh, the cavalry squadrons are a lot smaller now. Like, um, on large scale, which is what this is at, the uh, cavalry is, um, the, the strength is 40, 40 horses for, like, a regular unit. For a general unit, it's, like, 20. And they did that so that the infantry to uh, cavalry proportion was more accurate. Alright, so here I'm taking a whole crap load of my... Uh, my Royal Cavalry, I'm going to uh, try to hammer and strike. But this time my opponent learned the lesson. He is um, bringing some of his uh, his units back to uh, ward off my, my hammer and nipple strike. So I'm going to run away from that engagement with my cavalry. And that left the rest of his infantry to deal with my, my Sarissas. Alright, so as you can see, that this is a very long battle. It's already over uh, 10 minutes, but I cut off the, uh, the first few minutes of this battle where we were um, maneuvering into position. But you see that big rock on the left? That is, um, it's, well, it's a very big rock, of course, but um, because of that, we, um, we put our cavalry all in the other wing because we let the rock anchor our other flanks. Anyways, um, you can see what I'm doing here. I'm launching all kinds of hammer and ammo strikes. Anyways, um, this is my third time playing, this is my third battle, playing uh, this mod here. My first time was against the computer, and my second time was against this guy. I'm probably going to show that battle after I show this one. I did this one first just because it was harder to edit, and I wanted to tackle the uh, the harder project first. But, um, alright, here's a look at his uh, mercenary Sarissas versus my, versus my Pez Heteroi. And Pez Heteroi, that just means a uh, foot companion. Alright, so a lot of his units are rowdy now. So I'm slowly but surely gaining the upper hand against my opponent. Alright. Um, another thing to, to mention about this uh, mod is that there are tons of units available for each faction. Like, if you play the vanilla game, unmodded, like, there's um, like two little rows of units that are available to you. But on this game, there's like... It's like triple the amount of units that are available, but um, I just picked the units that I that that I was uh, sure about, so that I wasn't too surprised when I played this uh, this guy here. So I picked units that um, that I knew the capabilities of, uh, at least a rough estimate of other capabilities. Anyways, uh, my opponent uh, Duke Canada, he's a very very nice guy. He's the one who walked me through the installation process of this mod here. And um, Duke Canada's role on this, on the uh, Rome Total Realism team, is that he is a, um, a a beta tester. So he looks for bugs in the game, and he reports them to the developers. But um, he's the one who contacted me about this mod. He wanted me to uh, to try it out, and I agreed because uh, this mod was set in the time of King Pyrus, a very nice time period. And also, um, I wanted to try something new. Like these skins are like immaculate. If you ever read some of those Osprey books. Like, you will see that these units here, they match the artwork in the Osprey books. Alright, so I just cut off like like five minutes just then. Anyways, I want to give a shout out to, um, to Duke Canada and the rest of the Rome Total Realism team who made this mod possible. Good job.